Uh, we're going to have uh, right now Mazir with us from the Nafusa Mountain Media Center. Um, he's going to report to us the latest updates uh, from the Nafusa Mountain. Hello, Mazir. Uh, hello, Mazir. How are you today? I'm ah, doing well. Uh, I'm doing fine. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm. um, um, what can you report to us about the Nafusa Mountain? Okay. Um, before I start, I just feel in Egypt, my days are messing up. Just uh, uh, the report from the front line uh, in Israel and Qala. Well, yesterday uh, we got a report that uh, the Gaddafi forces uh, held on uh, Ephraim uh, in a very small, I mean, a part of uh, Ephraim, a village called uh, Atbukhbu, with the uh, rough missiles, and uh, they hit. Uh, uh, some of the civilian houses and uh, some of these uh, rocket missiles uh, damaged. Uh, uh, we have an ancient village of Atbukhbu, so uh, these monuments have been also, you know, uh, uh, damaged by the Gaddafi forces yesterday. Uh, that was uh, in the morning. Mm -hmm. uh, in the afternoon, the Gaddafi forces continued uh, shelling on Ephraim, but with the uh, armed fighting vehicle, uh, the 14 and a half. Mm -hmm. uh, they started uh, to shell uh, on Ephraim in the afternoon, as I said, and uh, there was no casualties, only damages uh, to uh, civilian houses and uh, ancient uh, village of uh, Atbukhbu in Ephraim. Mm -hmm. uh, that's Ephraim uh, yesterday. Uh, also yesterday, uh, Rojban and uh, Jadu, the Gaddafi forces uh, on the foot of the mountain uh, in the uh, area of the Qasr al Hajj. They start shelling on uh, uh, Rojban and uh, Jadu with the Grad missiles. Uh, that was late at night. So they hit Rojban and Jadu. Uh, Rojban, uh, uh, some of these uh, Grad missiles uh, hit you know, civilian houses in uh, Rojban. Mm -hmm. And Jadu uh, also uh, in a small village part of Jadu called Itomisa. Today uh, we had a chance to go and take uh, photos on these you know, Grad missiles that hit uh, Jadu. Some of them uh, landed on the uh, olive farm and hit the olive trees. Mm -hmm. uh, and also, you know, in uh, the small village of uh, a part of Jadu, uh, one of the grad missiles hit, I mean, uh, not one, two, sorry, two grad missiles hit uh, very close home, only uh, three meters from uh, this home, a uh, civilian house. Uh, they hit two, the two uh, grad missiles hit uh, the ground, and uh, they were lucky that, you know, uh, I mean, they they didn't uh, damage the houses because it was only three meters and uh, we've been informed from the uh, resident there that uh, uh, at the time when the, the guard missiles you know, hit uh, uh, close to their home uh, the kids they were outside so uh, they were lucky that uh, we, you know there was no casualties mm -hmm. also uh, a lot of these guard missiles hit uh, the cliff of the mountain uh, that's uh, from the front line. Uh, also, on the in terms of the humanitarian situation, it's the same for Qala and Jibla and Yifrin, still under siege by the Qaddafi forces. Mm -hmm. uh, still, uh, you know, uh, lack of water, lack of electricity until now it's uh, cut down. Uh, still, you know, uh, you know the military uh, council of the Nafusa Mountain trying to sort out and try to find the solution on how they can uh, support uh, Yifrin and uh, Qala and Kikla and liberate them. Uh, that's uh, one thing. The other thing is uh, today uh, we heard that the NATO striked an ammunition storage uh, south of the Nafusa mountain uh, and the south, exactly south of uh, Zintan. Uh, also today that uh, we had uh, uh, no reports from uh, Nalut, still it's calm in Nalut, and uh, that's the report, you know, uh, in English uh, from, uh, you know, about the Nafus and uh, cities in uh, Yifrin and Qala, Rushban, and Jadu, and also Nalut. Mm -hmm. So um, I will give the report in Tamazir. Uh, can you just I'll ask you a question before you start? Mm -hmm. Yes. on the humanitarian situation in uh, Yifrin and uh, Qala and Kikla, it's, I mean, we hear that it's really bad, right? Yeah, yeah, it's really bad, and uh, as you remember, the, not yesterday, but the day before, we had an urgent message from the local council yes. to uh, 
you know, uh, to the international community, to the NTC, the National Transitional Council, mm -hmm. to take an urgent action, you know, uh, to liberate Yifrin and Qala, uh, and at least, you know, to have a secure road from uh, Zintan all the way to Yifrin and Qala, you know, to, to get the humanitarian aid and support. Mm -hmm. Has there been any change since two days? Uh, well, still, some of the Qadhaf forces are in between Yifrin and Qala in the area called uh, Trumit or Rumiya. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it's still, you know, uh, you know, the, the Qadhafi tro troops, I mean, the forces are, are there and, and the road is not secured. Mm -hmm. So, there's still really bad humanitarian situation in uh, Kikla, Qala and Yifrin. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. the message is Yifrin, still yeah. there. There's an urgent message to... Uh, support those areas and try to liberate them. Um, okay, thank you, Mazir. Um, people are asking about how things are in Zintan. I don't know if they mean humanitarian situation or shelling. Um, okay. Um, they say, have there been any spottings of G convoys anywhere? Uh, until uh, today, uh, we didn't report. I mean, we didn't receive any report about that yet. Mm -hmm. And today. there is a comment from one of the viewers telling you that the report are so complete there are no questions. <laughs> That's good. Tell them thank you so much. <laughs> they can hear you. Um, also, there's a question: Is NATO directly striking G troops? Uh, well, uh, not much. Uh, because, you know, for the last, uh, I would say, four or five days, only, you know, they strike ammunition storage, you know, uh, south of the, the Fusan Mountain. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we only, you know, received a very small report on strikes on the uh, Qaddafi forces, you know, like in uh, Lib'ab, mm -hmm. the area of Al-Qala, uh, and also uh, uh, four or five days ago when we had a front line between uh, Zintan and Ghnaim and Awaniya. They, they strike, you know, tanks and uh, uh, armed uh, fighting vehicles. Mm -hmm. But mostly, you know, uh, all, you know, in the Nafusa Mountain, ammunition storage uh, south of the Nafusa Mountain. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, we have uh, Libyan Pride asking, what about Wazim border crossing? Still, it's under the uh, control of the freedom fighters and the the local council of Nafusa Mountain. Mm -hmm. But. Uh, Within the last days, uh, you know, Gaddafi forces is uh, shelling uh, wasing borders from time to time, yeah. Okay. Uh, also from Paris is asking about the food situation. Um, I, th Yeah, about the food situation. How is the food situation there? Also prices and all of that. Uh, uh, okay, for the rest of the Nebusan Mountain, a part of the uh, different uh, Qala and uh, Kikla, uh, well, there is somehow support, yes, uh, they get in, but, you know, uh, still, you know, they need more support and the local council is uh, doing, you know, uh, they're organizing that, you know, with the, with the relief organizations in uh, Tunisia to get more, you know, support uh, to the Nafusan Mountains. Uh, you know, we have a lot of cities and towns, you know, starting from Wazen, Nalut, uh, Kabao, Ulad Mahmoud, uh, Hwamid, uh, Mjabra, Hebat. Uh, Jadu, Zintan, Rujban, uh, so there's a lot. Uh, for, as I said, a part of Yifrin and Qala, they, they're still, you know, uh, trying, you know, they, they're getting the, the, the aid, you know, whatever they can get, uh, but uh, the, the road is not secured, as I said, you know, still it's not secured, and it's risky to, to, to send, uh, uh, you know, uh, any humanitarian aid until we secure the road from Zintan to Yifrin. Mm -hmm. Okay. But, uh, for, for Yifrin and Qala, I think they will need more, they will need more, mm -hmm. yeah. So actually, the next question I'm going to ask is probably answered. Um, it's Al Ghazali asking if there's any help coming from Tunis Wazin. So you said the situation is not. Yeah, well, yeah, that's yeah. So we, I, uh, I think we answered yeah, the for, question. For the, for the rest of, yeah, for the, yeah, as I said, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, also, for Adam is asking, any idea how much G forces are around Diafran and Qala? I cannot predict how you many, cannot, but yes. uh, there are. 
there are you know tanks mm -hmm. uh, grad uh, missile launchers uh, mm -hmm. you know anti aircraft uh, you know fighting vehicles there are this mm -hmm. okay uh catch your weapons to fight back. uh red baron is asking if the freedom fighters have enough weapons to actually fight back the chief forces uh, well, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully you know, inshallah. I mean, uh, yeah, inshallah they would do their best, you know. Okay. We are believing in them and uh, they, mm -hmm. they have a very strong spirit and uh, the level of morals is very high, so yeah. Okay. Um, and we have our mountain, the Pusan Mountain. It's uh, difficult for the kids. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay, a uh, last question about the communications. Uh, uh, what about the communication? Do you have communications with Al Qala and Yifrin, and also do you communicate with TNC? Uh, with the NTC, uh, yes, there is. A, I mean, we have a communication with them. Uh, the communication in Qala and Yifrin, uh, while uh, you know, uh, some they managed, you know, uh, to get uh, sat mobiles, you know, uh, to Yifrin and Qala, but. You know, the, they took this, you know, by uh, walking, you know, through the hills and, uh, you know, it takes uh, around a day, you know. Uh, so they managed to do that, uh, to, to, just, to, you know, to send the satellite mobile, but still, you know, uh, you know, we need more so we can get uh, contact with uh, with all, you know, closer to Yifren and, uh, and Qala. You know, Yifren is a huge uh, villages, mm -hmm. and also, you know, Qala, the same thing. Okay. Uh, thank you so much for your time, Azir. Uh, I'm sorry for everyone that I didn't answer the questions to because I couldn't read all of the questions. So, uh, thank you everyone for the questions and thank you, Azir, for answering them for us. Um, thank you for the report as well and we hope to hear good news tomorrow again from you. Inshallah. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Then, then we're thank you so much. Okay, bye -bye. thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, thank you everyone for the questions, and um, I'm sorry if I have skipped anyone. Um, the, about the historical sites from parents, uh, he has answered that before. He said that historical sites are being targeted in different places. Um, I will ask him again because I think that would be a report on its own. Um, any other questions? We hope that we will be able to answer uh, Thank you everyone, and thanks for listening. Take care and hope to be back with good news from Nusrata today as well. Thank you and bye-bye.